What's up, friends of the good boot? This is Manny, and welcome to the fully maxed new weapon, Weber, that can one-hit kill leeching leeches because it bypasses their resistance. We're testing this here on the live server now, fully maxed, okay? You see it here with overdrive modules on the leech. Four times the sniper weapon that has 800 meters range, does really good amounts of damage, and fully ignores, or partially, no, I think almost fully ignores enemy resistance. So you see there is a leech, and I don't care. Boom. Bye-bye, dude. Um, and also Titans. That means there is now a weapon in the game that can effectively snipe Titans from the distance, and do tons of damage to them. You will actually be dangerous versus Titans now with this weapon. And there is three weapons in the game now. We have the small weapon Volt, we have the medium weapon Weber, and we have the heavy version Gauss. And I'm exp I'm probably pronouncing those weapons a little bit different than you are because I'm saying them in German, which I think they are supposed to be. Um, and uh, I'm not 100% sure that that's true, but I think this is a... Uh, uh, it's correct the way I say it, I think. Now, 800 meters range. By the way, did you see that? I missed a shot because the game was lagging. Thanks, game! And that's why I shook the camera because I was really uh, upset with this shot missing due to the lag. Boom, a leeching leech. Bye-bye, dude. And uh, this is gonna happen a lot now. Of course, this video is gonna be a long one. 20 minutes long, okay? It's gonna be a very long video. And maybe not... Let, let's test against the... Oh, I missed because of lag again. I lag, I lag missed another shot. We're also testing this weapon against the Hawk robot because the Hawk has resistance, but the resistance cannot be bypassed, right? So we're gonna fire at the Hawk once he starts flying. And if you like the content, ladies and gentlemen, you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing right here, right now, and hitting that notification bell to be <clears throat> up, uh, informed about all the upcoming new videos and also giveaways, right? We're giving away right now 100 Nebula drones. In the top right corner is the giveaway for you. Let's test against the Hawk. Boom. You see, we just did a lot of damage, but we also, if you watch our own health, we also did a lot of damage to us because the Hawk throws back the damage that you do against him. And, um, and therefore, I did the same damage, I got it also. But it seemed like we did a really good amount of damage against the Hawk. It seemed like it even bypassed some of the resistance from the hawk but maybe it was just a very low leveled hawk that could be if it's like a level 5 hawk then it will look like that um, and we actually don't by bypass any resistance but let's test against titans okay see this guy boom do you see this man that's like 20% damage with one shot against a titan and one thing I haven't tested is if you can um, make a pilot skill that's something I need to test within the next videos too. If you can can do, or you know what? I'll be telling you in the comment section. Let's do it like that. In the pinned comment, I will inform you if there is the Power Man skill for this weapon as well. You remember the Power Man skill on the Ballista? It makes it so that the Ballista has the same medium weapon as a sniper. And it recharges its fire 20% faster. So 20% more firepower, basically, if you fire all the time, when you're fully recharged. I will I will inform you in the comments, in the pinned comment of this very video right here, if this skill also exists for uh, the Weber, Volt, and Gauss weapon category, okay? If it does, then we could do 20% more damage because we recharge 20% faster. Now, overall, this weapon is basically a copy of the uh, the ballista the ballista is the same weapon pretty much but they have fully different purposes the ballista fires 1100 meters far and recharges almost the same speed it also does similar amounts of damage but it doesn't ignore resistance so if i would be firing at this titan right there with the ballista i would be doing next to no damage because he has heavy resistance as a titan against normal robots without resistance, I would do almost the same damage. W not the same, but n r relatively close to it uh, with the Ballista, uh, because resistance is not a big deal. However, and here comes the, b the difference, the Ballista pe penetrates energy shields. The blue energy shields, you penetrate those with the Ballista. Uh, the, um, the, the new weapon Weber, Volt and Gauss, they they bypass no shield, no resist, uh, no, absolutely no shield. So, um, for example, an energy shield, even the Haichi blue shield, 
or the Ansel shield, Aegis shield, physical shields, it doesn't matter, none of them are going to be bypassed by this weapon. So, if there's a Bull Ghazari, um, or a Bulwark, for example, you have to first go through the energy shield, then you have to go through the physical shield, and then you can start dealing damage. However, all those Titans and all those resistant robots like Leeches or Menders, Falcons, Fenrirs, you're gonna do full damage to those, or almost full, I think, um, because I think they don't ignore 100% of the enemy resistance, they just ignore a high percentage of that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though. Um, but you're gonna basically be ignoring their defenses, but not the defenses of energy shields or physical shields, okay? So there's a bit of a trade-off here. But overall, these weapons definitely represent, in my opinion, currently the best snipers in the game. 800 meters range is incredibly much range. This is more range than you need on most maps. Very rarely you need more than 800 meters range to snipe effectively. Springfield, Yamantau, maybe Canyon, those are the only maps where you can really even use that. And even there, 800 meters is more than enough to snipe, okay? Uh, and so I have to say, these weapons, they really don't have much of a downside, except for the fact that they can't bypass physical or energy shields. Um, but they ignore all resistances, which make them incredibly good against Titans. And we're gonna see a lot of Titan gameplay now. Keep in mind, this is a sniper video, so it may not offer the highest action-paced gameplay. Because as a sniper, it's hard to offer action-paced gameplay. But... You, we, you see, we are outranging the enemy projectiles there coming in from the Nucleons, and we're hitting hard with the snipers on our side right there. And no matter if it's a, a Leeching Leech, if it's a Scorpion in resistant mode, if it's a Titan, we're gonna do damage, heavy damage. And this could be the end of Titan of Ao Mings. Think about it. If you have one or two snipers like this in the enemy team, this would be the end of our minks. Our minks would no longer be flying up there. Because if they do, they take so much damage from those snipers that they don't want to fly anymore, you know? So, this could change a lot in the game right now. And personally, I think that the damage output is a quite a, a little bit too high, considering they ignore enemy resistance. Make the music a little bit quieter and the game a bit louder. Yeah, in my opinion, the damage output is a little bit too high considering they ignore all resistances and um, even Titans just take a little bit too much from this. Increasing the volume even higher so you can hear the sound of the firing. Boom! That's how it sounds like when we fire with this thing. Um, yeah, so I really like to hear what you guys think about the weapon. Uh, it's incredibly good, incredibly powerful. That was a leech. He's down to last stand in one hit. Now the leech is gonna leech, and I'm not- I don't care. Boom. There he goes. Right? By the way, this is a 5 million damage match that we're doing. 5 million damage with the, uh, Weber weapon right here. I'm not even joking. 5 million damage is exactly this match right here. You've seen it in the title, maybe. Um, the new sniper weapon is insane. Tons of damage, very quick recharge, and full uh, shield bypass resistance. Uh, resistance bypass, I mean. And uh, then I'm using the drone right here that suppresses the enemy and freezes them. So uh, every time I shoot, the enemy is also suppressed. So if, for example, a scorpion jumps on me and thinks he can take me out real quick, I just shoot him once, he's instantly suppressed, can't deal damage, I bypass his resistance of the scorpion, and uh, yeah, then he teleports back because he, he failed miserably, you know? And if that doesn't do it, then I can use the leech, um, uh, the leech re uh, resistance itself and the leech back, you know? And this, this uh, puts a very, oh, there's an Nodens, enemy titan, boom! You see how much damage the Nodens just took? That is not a bad leveled Nodens, by the way. This is not a level 5 Nodens. It's a well-leveled one, and it takes a tremendous amount of damage. I would say it's probably about level 50 to 100, maybe. It's probably not max, but it's not very low level. And, um, yeah, it takes tremendous amounts of damage from these shots. Boom, boom, boom. Zero damage because he had the physical shield still active. That's why we didn't do damage to the enemy, um... A bulwark, but next time he shows up, we just broke his physical shield. Next time he shows, 
We're gonna kill him. I got suppressed by the enemy Nodens, but that was too late because I already hit him. Now let's move out again, see if we can hit him. He doesn't want to show himself anymore because he notices how much damage he's taking. Look at this. A Ravana. Boom. Did you see that? The overdrive is now active. We're now doing double damage against uh, everybody when we fire with the overdrive. Almost double damage. So even uh, Ravanas with heavy, arm or heavy amounts of HP take massive damage. All right, here we have to be careful because this is an enemy Ao Ming with 600 meters energy weapon range. Now let's show you something. We have 800 meters. We outrange the enemy Ao Ming. We can simply stand here, snipe down this guy as he comes over in two hit kills. Um, and then once the enemy Ao Ming shows, we can punish him very hard because we outrange him and he igno we ignore all his resistance. With overdrive, this is the damage we could do every time. This, I think, may be a fully maxed Titan. It may actually be level 150. I'm not even joking. Uh, because we're not doing that much damage uh, as he has so much health, you know? Maybe he even has armor modules equipped to even have more health, you know? And, uh, and we still do tons of damage to him and suppress him every time he tries to shoot, right? He already lost half his Titan or something and he hasn't done anything with it. Anything. Consider this. This is a fully maxed Ao Ming, probably. And he hasn't done a single thing on the battlefield yet. And he already lost a lot of health. So, why does he lose his health for? What, is, what did he lose his health for? There's an Ao Ming, not as well leveled. See, he takes much more damage. And he also is suppressed every time he fires. Let's go for the other Ao Ming again. 800 meters range. Boom. And he is suppressed. And this is just crazy, man. Boom, the Nodens took a massive hit down there. If I could kill the Nodens, that would be good because he could potentially heal the other Titan all the time. Uh, but I wasn't able to hit him all the way. And, yep, there is the other Titan fully charged in one and fire. Boom, full hit and full suppression for him. And all the damage he does now against the other Nodens is suppressed by 27%, no, 75% because of the drone that suppresses him every time we shoot, right? And now he wants to fly closer because he wants to kill me. He notices that all the damage he's taken so far is because of me. All damage he suffered was because of me. And, and that's why um, he wants to kill me, but he can't because I could can just move backwards against the wall and still so much and what is he gonna do? He's just gonna get killed. There's no thing, not, nothing he can do at this point. He's just completely destroyed. And yeah, so is this a powerful weapon? Yes, indeed it is. And it is very dangerous against Titans. However, also consider how long we're already firing at this one Titan, right? Because he can constantly counter heal the damage that we do. And he had, don't forget that, he had a Nodens. That's probably why he lived so long. They had a Nodens in the enemy team that healed him up all the time. And this is why I probably did like... 2 million damage or so against him uh, because this is his max amount of HP. And you see we did 5 million damage uh, with this Weber weapon here on the leech. And that shows you that we've just done like 2 or 2.5 two million damage against the enemy Ao Ming right there uh, because he got constantly healed back up by the Nodens. Jumping back into the match, seeing some FR dudes on the enemy team. I have an enemy Scorpion behind me. And now I can just uh, start having my resistance and kill him through his resistance with the Weber weapon. Turn around, boom, and he goes down to, da uh, to dust. And then, boom, the FR dudes are very well leveled, guys. Usually they have accounts like Battle Rack accounts, everything fully maxed and nothing but max level. Here's a Falcon full, uh, bypassing most of his resistance again. Not sure if it's 100% of the resistance, but most of it that we bypass. And every time we hit, you see there's a ton of damage coming. I let him do his damage against me with the over so that the overdrive activated. And now we can do the real deal. Now we can do the real damage with the overdrive running. Look at this. Boom. Bye bye, dude. Falcon doesn't matter anymore when you have the... And I, I was brawling against him. I was running a sniper setup in a short-range brawl. And it worked. Let's fire at that Titan up there. Boom. See that? 
Those are well-level titans, man. From the FR guys, they don't run badly leveled stuff. They just don't. And we are doing tons of damage to them. And yeah, so this is crazy, man. Greetings, by the way, to you, FR. Because I've been fighting you a lot over the couple re recent couple of weeks. Um, fire. Why am I not firing at him? Eh? Why was I not firing? Was I brain AFK for a second? I, I had a fully loaded weapon and I didn't fire? Why? Whoa, I just took... Wait a minute, I just took a lot of damage. What happened? Was it the rocket? Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, wow, look at the damage he did. That shows you what I mean with the FR dudes. It's so max, dude. He just hit me for one second or half a second and I'm almost destroyed. Or maybe I wanted... Oh, I want... I know what happened. I wanted him to shoot me because my overdrive wasn't running. And I wanted to hit him with the overdrive active. That's what happened. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Now, the overdrive is active for the rest of the game. There's nothing that can steal my overdrive anymore. Uh, I got suppressed, though, by a Nightingale. So let's one-tap him. After he comes out of this. Bye-bye, buddy. Boom! And that's it. So, jumping into the next match where overdrive is already active for the moment. Boom! But the overdrive is gone for now. And he just keeps getting up and down because we counter heal the damage. Um, I need to take a little bit more damage now. I need to take one or two hits and then the overdrive will be running. I could jump into the lava though. Uh, but even without overdrive, the damage is insane that we do. Could somebody please hit me for a sec here? Boom. I need more damage. That means I need to get... I need to be hit. Ah, nice. Thank you, dude. Oh, it's Pilot Kansus again. It's the same guy that we have that I encountered uh, in the other video where I did the Titan Cannibal Reactor. Uh, because right now I'm testing all the brand new content with an update. And I tested the Cannibal Reactor um, on the Titan. So that does incredible uh, amounts of damage against Titans only. By the way, was that a miss? Look at this. Thanks for the lag, Warobots. Boom. Zero damage done. Fully charged and I did zero damage based off lag. Wow, man. The game is so screwed sometimes. Holy moly. Uh, so, yeah. If you also want to see, in the top right corner is the video with the cannibal reactor. Where I uh, tested that on the maxed Ao Ming with three cannibal reactors against enemy titans. And I make a conclusion, too, about which is the best one. And boom. Every time I hit him, he takes so much damage. It's not quite as hitting like a hawk, but it's a lot of damage anyways. Boom. Even against non-titans, uh, or, you know, against non-resistant tank uh, robots, you do maximum damage, and you do, do the same against titans. See that, Oming? He's suppressed, and he took like 15% or 20% damage. Now he's healing up, and the next time, boom. Now he cannot heal anymore because, well, he already had his healing used. All right. Come on, fly back up, Mr. Big BR. Oh gosh, uh, this this guy has an Ansel shield on the on the Raijin. Who uses an Ansel on the Raijin? Who does that? All right, here we go and fire. Boom! Nice, really good damage done here, and he is suppressed. I'm also gonna test in another video the v the Volt. So the light version of these new weapons on the Blitz robot. So four times the, the light sniper that you could basically use on a Patton or on a con combo with Ares like uh, uh, Gauss and uh, no Weber and Volt on the Ares for example, right? Jumping forward, boom! Kid Titan, even with his weapon out, so maximum resistance on the kid takes massive damage. Here we have the pilot Kan Zeus again here, dude. One shot, almost down to last stand. Then he wants to save his last stand and jump down. Not with me, dude. Boom. Down to last stand. Here he goes. And there is the Raijin spider again. Oh, look. Kit comes out. Boom. But only half the weapons hit. I think the other half goes and went into the wall. Um, Ao Chun comes over here, tries to kill me, but obviously I'm not gonna let that happen. And I'm the, I'm the one doing the killing here. Thanks. So, fully recharging the weapon and then hitting that kid all the way. And boom. And since he is... Whoa, he wait, he wasn't suppressed. Yeah, he was suppressed. You know what? The game screwed me again. 
I walk out, I hit him, and he is supposed to be suppressed right now. This is when his when he should stop doing damage. Look at my health. 58,000 health. This is when his weapons should stop dealing damage because he's suppressed. But he's not suppressed for one second, two seconds. Now he is suppressed. And now the damage counted. See how late the damage counted? Because of lag. And that's also when the, uh, the, the, the suppression started. So instead of 58,000 health, now I have 36,000 health. And I lost a weapon thanks to lag. Wow, Waroba, really get your legs under control, my goodness, this is like the most important issue in the game, and it's the one that you don't seem to address very effectively. Maybe you're counting on Warobot's remaster to do it all better, I don't know, maybe it will, but this is out of control, he's lagging all the time, these lags are completely out of the question, man, out of the control. Really, this is uh, unplayable at times. Boom. So. I would be doing 25% more damage the whole time because oh, actually I would doing from what you see right now I would doing 33% more damage output if I had the fourth weapon, right? And we lost 25% compared to what we did before when we had all four. Comparisons are a tricky thing. Some of you probably won't understand that uh, why so, why sometimes it's 33 and sometimes it's 25. It depends on what you start as a default value to go with. Um, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is Weber, the fully maxed version of it with overdrive with every damage boost rocket that is possible. Tremendously powerful sniper weapon, better than any other sniper we have seen so far because it's truly universal now and it, it, it is effective just as much against Titans as it is against Falcons or normal robots without resistance, right? Or almost just as effective because I still think it doesn't bypass all resistance it bypasses a large part of it correct me though if i'm wrong thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more thanks for being with you, you guys are awesome as always money signing off Bye bye